Hello, friends and colleagues of the Numismatic Literary Guild. My name is Charles Morgan, and I am proud to welcome you to the 2021 NLG Awards Virtual Program. In the year since its founding, the Numismatic Literary Guild has earned a special place in the hearts of many of the hobby's most creative and talented members as we work together to propel the narrative of coins, paper money, and other numismatic objects and their role in history and culture ever forward. It's a hobby we all share an enthusiastic love for, expressed through writing and other creative means, and that, in my opinion, is what makes the Numismatic Literary Guild so special. The NLG Bash, typically held on Thursday evenings at the ANA Summer Convention, has for a long time been a highlight on the social calendar for our members. With skits straight out of vaudeville's borscht circuit, the bashes of yore blur the lines between numismatic cringe and knee-slapping hilarity. And, as one would expect, we do save a few jokes for assay. I bet you didn't see that coming. The ANA is back on schedule this year, but our celebration will be held virtually. It was a decision the board and I made in the spring of this year, as we were still yet unsure about the status of the summer convention. We plan to resume the NLG Bash in person in 2022. So prepare those jokes and get ready. We'll be back at it before you know it. We will hold an informational meeting about the NLG at the ANA this year, and we do invite each and every one of you to attend if you can make it. The meeting will be held on Thursday, August 12th at 11 a.m. at Room 5 at the Douglas Stevens Convention Center. We're billing the meeting as an informational meeting, and what we're looking for is feedback and suggestions from our members about how we can better promote their work throughout the year. As you are aware, the NLG is publishing its newsletter on a monthly basis. We look at our newsletter as a venue where we get to talk about the craft of writing and to promote each other's work. At our meeting, we would like to hear from you and how we could better serve you and the numismatic community through our newsletter and other programs. So please attend if you have a chance. Moving on to this year's awards, let me tell you first that despite the obstacles that the 2020 COVID pandemic had on most aspects of our daily lives, numismatics thrived. The coin market is on fire, new people are coming into the hobby, and the work product of our fellow guild members was exemplary. The NLG experienced a more than 30% increase in participation in its awards program in 2021, and our goal is to beat that number next year. Also, our award winners this year represent one of the most diverse crop of winners in our organization's history with many unexpected names and unexpected categories. I am proud of you all and proud to serve as the executive director of an organization composed of such talented members. So today we celebrate you, your great works of 2020, and look forward to the great works still to come in 2021. Greetings, fellow NLG members. It's once again that time when we celebrate our own achievements and that of our organization through our annual literary competition. Uh, this year's results revealed some truly outstanding winners, and I'm pleased to say that the uh, judging was very consistent throughout. Uh, though our work judges do work independently, they seem to have a generally common sense of what is the best entry in each category, and that does make it very easy to tabulate the results and come up with the winners. Uh, you'll notice that there were a few little changes in this year's competition rules, and that's always done in response to the outcome of previous competitions. It's an evolutionary process, and it'll probably be ongoing as we analyze the results of this year's competition in anticipation of next year. Overall, again, I, I believe the results are outstanding and truly reflective of where the talent lies, and I am very pleased for the future of our organization. I'm also looking forward to seeing a number of you when our ANA convention convenes in Rosemont very shortly. Until that time, I'll wish you safe travel and best wishes to all. The 2021 Numismatic Literary Guild Award winners for Best Specialized Books. United States of Related Coins goes to The Confident Carson City Collector by Rusty Go.
the Analogy Award for Best Specialized Books in the category of Ancient and Medieval Coins goes to Money and Power in the Hellenistic Bactria by Simon Glenn. The 2021 NLG Award for Best Specialized Book in the category of World Coins goes to A Legacy of Collection, the NC Collection of Chinese Coins by Nelson Chang. The 2021 NLG Award for Best Specialized Books in the category of Paper Money goes to A Guidebook of Continental Currency and Coins by Q. David Bowers. The 2021 NLG Award for Best Specialized Book in the category of Tokens and Medals goes to Old Regime France and its Jetons by James E. McClellan III. The NLG Award for Best Specialized Book in Numismatic Investment or Marketplace goes to Beth Deicher for Cash In Your Coins. The 2021 NLG Award for Best Specialized Book covering numismatic history or personalities goes to Coin Collecting Albums, Volume 3 by David W. Lang. And our most coveted numismatic book award of the year goes to the confident Carson City Collector by Rusty Go. Congratulations to all of our authors. In the category of numismatic feature articles, for United States coins early, the award goes to Were Some Proof Trade Dollars Struck as Metals by Roger W. Burdett, published in Coin World. For United States coins modern, the award goes to New Light Shed on Mysterious Past of 1913 Liberty Head Nickel by Robert Van Risen, published by Numismatic News. The award for numismatic feature articles covering ancient and medieval coins goes to Libertas and Freedom from Financial Burden in the Reigns of Trajan and Hadrian by Nathan T. Elkins, published in the American Journal of Archaeology. And the award for numismatic feature articles on the topic of world coins goes to the recent auction of Tananthari coinage by Philip Hore. Numismatic articles covering the topic of paper money. The award goes to Running Antelope and the 1899 $5 Silver Certificate by Chris Bullfinch, published by Coin Week. Numismatic feature articles on the topic of tokens and medals goes to A Main to Remember by David Shankman, published in the TAMS Journal. Numismatic feature articles and the topic of numismatic investment or marketplace. The award goes to Reimagining Coin Collecting and Investing by Joshua McMorrow Hernandez, published in Coin Age magazine. And our final award in this category of numismatic feature articles for the topic of numismatic history and personalities. The award goes to Collecting American Colonial Coins in 18th Century England by Jeff Rock, published in the Journal of Early American Numismatics. Congratulations to all our winners. This presentation of the James L. Miller Memorial Award for the article or story of the year has a special significance to me. Back in 1984, a year after I graduated from college, James Miller, then publisher of Coin Age magazine, who was also its founder, asked me to become a contributing editor to Coin Age, and I did. And I've been a Coin Age editor and contributor ever since. Today, in fact, I serve as Coin Age's executive editor every day respecting the memory of Coin Age's founder, James L. Miller. So it's with great honor that I present the James L. Miller Memorial Award this year to Jeff Rock 
for collecting American colonial coins in the 18th century England, Journal of Early American Numismatics. The topic of numismatic columns, the area of United States coins early, the award goes to USA Coin Album, written by David W. Lang and published in The Numismatist. The topic of United States Coins Modern, the award goes to The Coin Analyst, written by Louis Galino and published in coinweek.com. On the topic of ancient and medieval coins, the award goes to NGC Ancients, published by Numismatic Guarantee Corporation and published in NGC E-News. On the topic of world coins, the best numismatic column goes to World Coins on the Block, written by Jeff Stark and published in Coin World. On the topic of numismatic columns, Paper Money, the award goes to Uncoupled by Fred Schwann and Joseph Bowling, published in Paper Money. The best numismatic column for tokens and medals goes to Tokens and Medals, written by David Shankman and published in The Numismatist. The Numismatic Column, Numismatic Investment or Marketplace, Best Column for 2021 is Weekly Market Report, written by Jeff Garrett and published in NGC E-News. And the Best Numismatic Column, covering numismatic history or personalities, goes to It's News to Me, written by Don Perlman and published in Coin Age Magazine. On the subject of periodicals, we have a tie for first place for the category of Best Investment Newsletter. The tie goes to Liberty's Outlook by Patrick A. Heller, editor, and the Rosen Numismatic Advisory, Maurice Rosen, editor. In the category of Best Professional Periodical, the award goes to the Alaskan Token Collector and Polar Numismatist by Dick Hanscom, editor. For the best club or not-for-profit periodical and large circulation, the award goes to the numismatist, Caleb Noel, editor. And the periodical award for best club or not-for-profit periodical with a small circulation, the award goes to Paper Money, Benny Bolin, editor. We move on to the websites category. For Best Online News Website, the 2021 NLG Award goes to CoinWeek.com, Charles Morgan, editor. For Best Dealer or Industry Website, the award goes to Coins.ha.com, Heritage Auctions. The Best Non-Trade Website goes to The History of Money Virtual Tour by the American Numismatic Association. The best numismatic social media platform or coin collector forum goes to instagram.com slash NGC coins published by Numismatic Guarantee Corporation. And the NLG award for best blog goes to the American Numismatic Society for their pocket change blog, which can be found at numismatics.org forward slash pocket change. Congratulations to all of these winners. Next, we have the very competitive catalogs awards categories. For best U.S. coin auction catalog, the award goes to the Donald G. Partrick Collection, published by Heritage Auctions. For best world coin auction catalog, the award goes to Paramount Collection, published by Heritage Auctions. For the best paper money auction catalog for 2021, the award goes to the Mike Coltrane Collection, published by Heritage Auctions. In the category of best book or exonumia auction catalog, there is a tie for first place with the award going to the Charles Oppitz Collection, published by Kagan's Auctions and 
The Richard Margolis Library, published by Colby and Fanning. Congratulations to all the winners. In the category of audio and visual, the best audio presentation of 2021 goes to The Planchet, featuring David Hinden, published by the American Numismatic Society. The 2021 NLG Award for Best Video goes to Money Talks, published by the American Numismatic Society. The award for Best Still Photography goes to Haley's Comet by Michael A. Cody's, published by the ANA eLearning Academy. And the best software or app goes to ha.com forward slash live, published by Heritage Auctions. The Lee Martin Founders Award for the best all around portfolio has become an especially sought after and highly competitive category. Especially this year, there are many entries that were submitted that were extraordinary. This award is presented to honor the writer or author or journalist or photographic artist for the portfolio collection of work submitted. These entries of writings and photographic images of all kinds demonstrate the nuanced skill set of numismatic writing ability. I knew NLG's founder, the late Lee Martin, and I know he would be so proud of this year's continuing tradition and of this year's winner, Steve Roach, who is Coin World's editor at large. Steve, Congratulations to you on this repeat of a milestone. The 2021 Rivet Award goes to Doug Winter. Doug Winter is a collector's dealer, a U.S. gold coin specialist, an author of several standard references. He has created an authoritative catalog of varieties for U.S. gold coins. He is a longtime blogger, who understands the value and importance and education, and he is one of my dearest friends in the hobby. I congratulate you, Doug, on the great work you do, both as a dealer and as a director of the NLG. This is an award you richly deserve. The Clemmy Award was established in 1968 and named after writer Clement F. Bailey. Since that time, the award has stood out as the NLG's most coveted prize, with the winner of each subsequent year picked by the previous year's recipient. The names on the honor roll of Clemmy Award winners reads like a numismatic writer's hall of fame. I will read each and every winner from 1968 to 2020 and allow our 2020 recipients to name the 2021 recipient. The Clemmy Award winners are as follows. Clement F. Bailey, Edward C. Rochette, Lee Martin, Margot Russell, Virginia Culver, Maurice M. Gould, Eva Adams, Ray Byrne, Chet Krause, Dick Yeoman, Lee F. Hewitt, Abe Kossoff, Glenn Smedley, Arlie Slaybaugh, Eric P. Newman, Ken Brissett, Don Perlman, Walter Breen, Ed Ryder, David T. Alexander, James Miller, Q. David Bowers, David Gantz, Cliff Mischler, R. W. Julian, Russell Rulau, Elvira Klein Stefanelli, Beth Deicher, Colonel Bill Murray, Alan Herbert, Burnett Anderson, Tom DeLore, Wendell Wolka, Dave Harper, Scott Travers, Bill Fevis, Neil Schaefer, Carlton Fred Schwan, Barbara Gregory, Jean Hessler, Anthony Swiatek, Maurice Rosen, Paul Whitna, Kay Lanker, Jim Halpern and Steve Ivey, Mike Fulgens, John Albanese, 
Bill Gibbs, Mark Borkhart, Robert Van Risen, David Lang, Doug Winter, and Lynn Augsburger and Joel Oros. I now turn it over to Lynn and Joel. Uh, before we begin, uh, Lynn and I uh, would like to just reflect for a second on what a remarkable honor it has been uh, to have been jointly awarded the, the Clemmy in 2020. Uh, in our collaborative career of writing, we've received a, a, a few awards and they've all been meaningful, uh, but there is nothing quite as meaningful uh, and significant as having uh, fellow authors, fellow researchers, fellow ink-stained wretches of the NLG who know what it takes to write a book and make a book to have awarded us this honor. So we are very grateful and, and very humbled by it. In deciding uh, who to pass this on to uh, for 2021, uh, we wanted to uh, find an individual who uh, continued uh, the tradition of solid numismatic research, uh, who was very careful uh, about documenting original sources and who was uh, extremely resourceful in their own right on uncovering those sources. And the awardee for this year has carefully mined original sources and has demonstrated meticulous reliance on hard evidence and set really a new numismatic literary standard. And he's done it in a way that is interesting and compelling and uh, continually finds new resources and presents them in innovative ways. And you probably have guessed the identity of, of the winner thus far, uh, but uh, if, there, if Roger Miller uh, was the king of the road, in country music. Uh, our honoree is the king of the numismatic archives. So uh, please uh, join with us in congratulating Roger Burdett, uh, the 2021 winner of the Clemmy. Roger, congratulations. Good evening, fellow NLG members. I want to express my appreciation for it your confidence and thoughtfulness in the award of the Clemmy to me this year. It's been my goal over the many years I've been writing to collect and document original information from reliable sources within the numismatic community and from archives. My goal has been to bring a greater expanse of knowledge and understanding and facts to both the hobby and the commercial ends of numismatics. Again, please accept my appreciation for your award and remember that your shrimp will be emailed to you. Well, thank you everybody for tuning in to our 2021 awards ceremony. Congratulations to the winners. We had a great year as an organization and a hobby. I look forward to seeing each and every one of you in attendance at the ANA World's Fair of Money. Until then, the work continues. Goodbye, my friends.